Well, so uh, thank you very much for the invitation and give me the chance to be here and present you our joint work with uh, postdoc researcher Theodoris Perdikis and Professor Marcos Kutras. Uh, the work is entitled uh, Weak Runs in Multi-State Trials and Application in Statistical Process Monitoring. As you can uh, see from the title, from the very beginning, uh, we will have uh, two topics which I will, I will have to speak about. The first one is the theoretical part, which has to do with weak runs in multi-state trials. And generally, it has, it has to do with the area that um, I would uh, say it's the theory of runs. And, uh, Spiros, Spiros, may I just shortly interrupt you? Perhaps make it full screen. Okay. As this uh, might be then uh, okay, later. Okay. Of course. Uh, just a moment to. If possible. Just uh, shortly. I will. Do you remember the. Um, uh, Control L, I think. Control, Control okay, L. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, as I as I was uh, saying before, uh, I will speak first for weak runs, but first for runs. First of all, I'll, I'll give a short review of theory of runs, and then I'll talk about uh, applications in statistical uh, process man monitoring. Uh, so let's start. And um, a variety of problems in different research areas can be modeled by considering binary trials, which means success or failure trials, and studying random variables denoting either the number of successes in a given number of trials, or the waiting time for the appearance of a given number of successes. Therefore, the classical distri distributions arise, and we mean the classical binomial distribution, the geometric distribution, the negative binomial distribution. Uh, but uh, what if, if the researcher is not interested in the occurrence of a single success, but the application requires the study of the occurrence of consecutive successes. Are there theoretical tools that can help us in this case? Okay, these questions help us to enter in theory of France. So we are now interested in the occurrence of France of successes of length K, and I mean K consecutive successes. Of course, K can be greater or equal to one. In that case, the classical discrete, discrete distributions are generalized to the distributions of order K. For a review in the area till 2002, I recommend the excellent book of Balakris and Kutras. Uh, and of course, there is much work done uh, till then. In order to give you an example and um, help you familiarize with the area, let us assume that this uh, sequence of outcomes has uh, arised. If we, we were interested in the classical binomial distributions, then here we would count uh, three, six, nine, 11 successes, as you see. But now, if we're in the case of binomial distribution of for the k equal to three, we want to count a runs of three successes. So here we would count three such runs. Why? Because our application requires triples of runs and not just single, single runs. This is the general idea. So I've talked to you about the first generalization, which is from the classical distributions to distribution of the K to runs. We, make, we may make a further uh, uh, generalization, which excessively studied in the literature, and is from runs to scans. So now the assumption of necessarily consecutive successes is relaxed. Instead, we consider windows of trials of length, of length M, each of which contains at least K successes. Pay special attention that the successes now are not necessarily consecutive. As you can understand, is if in this way, I, I, I didn't tell it before, scans k out of m arise. And a scan k out of k is, of course, a run. So this is why a scan is a generalized run. So if we, 
if I uh, would like to present you all two out of three scans, what does it mean I, I repeat again? Uh, in windows of three trials, we want at least two successes. So these are the four cases I was talking to you about before. If you want to have further information on the, on the area, I would recommend the book of Glass and Palacrisan, of Glass et al, or a recent review article of ours, Kutras and Afris 2021. Now, let's go to, the, to a further generalization that it's of, a, of, research, of a recent interest. So, I, I was, as I'll now uh, introduce the weak, ra weak runs in binary tri trials, which were introduced in our work uh, by the Fritz McCrane 2022, which was published in uh, Metrica. Uh, before I, I define the weak, run, weak runs, then I must do st something straightforward, which is um, uh, adapt the definition of uh, distance from the real, from real numbers to binary trials. So if we have uh, binary trials, or multi-state trials, it doesn't make a difference, then the distance between two trials, number i and j, is the absolute value of j minus i. It's uh, straightforward, but uh, before uh, doing anything else, we should uh, do this, uh, uh, this adaption to, to binary, to trials, to experimental trials. So if we now have a sequence of binary trials, number from one to n, then an R weak one run of length k is a string of k ones, as in the case of runs, but we have a further assumption that any two consecutive ones may have an, a, a maximum distance now of r plus one, which means, but between any two consecutive successes, r failures may now intervene. So runs are relaxed. If I, I want to give you an example, let me present you all uh, are weak ranks of length k equal to three. Then three successes, as you can see, three ones here may now be separated. And between any two successive of this, at most R failures, zeros, may intervene. So this is how the two to the power R plus one are weak ranks of length three are born. So, why weak runs? Because as applications be, uh, be more complex, then our theoretical tools have to be more flexible as well. So we had to incorporate the extra parameter R to the to theory of R that was studied before. Where do we apply such uh, tools? We applied that in systems reliability in our work in 2019, Daphne, uh, Macri, and Filippo. In agriculture, you can see some work of ours. And very recently, in statistical quality control, and more specifically, in statistical process monitoring. So, in the work of Daphne, Perdix, and Papadopoulos, very recent work, uh, which was, is pub was published in uh, Communication Statistics Theory and Methods, uh, we introduced a new key square control chart based on weak runs. Now, we should uh, recall a key square control chart and consider now that an out of control signal is given if k consecutive plotted points fall above the upper control even limit, even if any two successive of these are separated by at most our points placed in the uh, interval between the upper control limits and zero. Okay, so you may easily understand that weak runs now are brought into play. Uh, the authors compare the performance of the proposed chart to the performance of several charts with runs rules since in the literature, proving its superiority for detecting small to moderate process mean vector shifts. 
in order to give you a demonstration, uh, if we assume that k is equal to three and r is equal to one, then this chart, in order to provide a, a, a signal, it, it would be necessary uh, to have three plotted points above the upper control limits, even if two successive of these are, are separated by at most one point which is inside the limits. So the, the, this uh, chart is more sensitive for detective the, um, the shift. Okay. Now, let's move to the main part of current uh, presentation. And I want to first to present you weak runs in multi-state trials with a new theoretical tool. Now, let us consider a sequence of trying, trials taking value from a given alphabet, alphabet 1 to M. This alphabet uh, is a partition in two subsets. One from 1 to M1 that contains the successes, the favorable letters, and the rest of them are the failures, the unfavorable letters. And we say that if ZL equals I, and tie is success, a success of tie pi has occurred at trial L, or if ZL equals J and J is a failure, that the failure of type J has occurred at trial L. Now, I may, I may formally define weak runs in multi-state trials. So let Z1, Z2, Z10 be a sequence of multi-state trials as defined above, and the function F assigning each success of type pi to a single fable or a failure of type F, F of I, F of I. Then a narrow I, weak I run of length KI is a string of outcomes with the following properties. The first and the latter out outcome is success of type I. It contains KI successes of type I. And any two successes of this can only be separated by failure of runs of type F of I according to the assignment of the function defined above with a maximum length R of I. You may understand that it's a straightforward generalization of the definition of weak runs in binary trials I've just given above before, some slides before. So I think one or two examples are necessary for two reasons. First of all, in order you to <laughs> be familiarized with that. And secondly, these are the two examples that will help us uh, break into play the, the new control charts. So if we consider that we have an alphabet of three letters, two kinds of successes, one and two, and one kind of failure, three. The, so, so there is a unique matrix of F. One and two can only be assigned to three. So this is the only, the only failure. And uh, it means since K1 is equal to that we need two ones, which can be separated by at most R1 equal one, three. So we need, we need either one R or one, three, one. Or we need, a, since K2 is equal three, three, two, three twos, success of the second type, which may be separated by at most two threes. So all these other patterns uh, are, uh, we can see all, the, all these other patterns. A, a, a second, Example is when we have four, a, a, a four letter alphabet with two kinds of successes and two kinds of failures, then successes are one or two, failures are three and four, then we, we must necessarily make the assignment. So let us assign one to three and two to four, then uh, ones may be separated by threes and two may be separated by fours, according to K1, K2, R1, and R2, as, as I have just explained above. Before proceeding to the statistical process monitoring area, we had to provide a theorem for, for the waiting time distribution of the random variable denoting the, uh, the time 
for the first appearance of, of, of such a weak run. So uh, we've provided in the general case, uh, the probability mass function and the, and the mean of, of the random variable TKR I've just uh, described before. Um, here we have a matrix. It seems uh, quite complicated, but uh, numerically it is not at all complicated. It's very, it's very easy uh, to implement. Uh, how these uh, results uh, are proved? They are proved using Markov chains and more specifically the a, a proper generalization of Markov chain embedding technique. Uh, but this theoretical part would be uh, the topic of another presentation till uh, I, I, I should stick to the time given uh, to this year. Uh, whoever is interested, uh, we could have a talk uh, at any time. So, now, since we have uh, our theoretical tools, we can uh, provide to give the X bar charge based on weak runs in multi state trials uh, going to the phase two impl implementation. So, the, now the identification. First Sorry of, for the interruption. Yeah, it is about 20 minutes that have passed just to tell you. Uh, already 20 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I, I'll be much, much faster. Okay. okay. So uh, the identification of an output control signal by runs rules, it's a common practice in control charts. Uh, at this time, now a sample X1, X2, Xn of size n is collected. And uh, assuming that the random variables are from the normal distribution within control mu, mu zero and standard deviation sigma zero. And under the assumption that mu zero equals zero and sigma zero equals one, then it's natural that the control limit equals zero and the upper control limit equals D, and the lower control limit equals minus D. And where D is a parameter to be determined according to the ARL in, out of, to in control ARL we want to achieve. Now, our charts will give, a, we have, sorry, a, our interest focus on whether the value of the charting statistic at each sample point is plotted above UCL, or beneath LCL, or between UCL and LCL, and an output of a control signal will be given if K1, if an R weak run is observed either above or below. So we have a two sided X bar chart. The probabilities are, can be easily calculated through the typical normal distribution. These are the upward, the out of control patterns from the outward detection in the same. Uh, case as I described above for the key square child, and these are the, the ones for the downward detection. Now, uh, of course, in control chart with run rules, the ARL formula one divided by A is not uh, valid because ARL is not geometric, so we have to use the theorem I just uh, talked to you about before. Uh, we have also well, a four region chart introduce it in the same direction, no time here, so I stick to the three regions. So, but if you also add a, a center line, then we have a four, uh, a four uh, region uh, chart, which has to do with the, section, the second example I gave before. What we did then is numerically is run and uh, it, 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 we try to investigate the impact of having different values for K1, K2, R1 or 2 for several classes of designs for, and, for, and for different shift magnitudes. Uh, with an optimization algorithm, we manage to get the optimal selections uh, uh, together with, with the ARL. And then we uh, compare our new tools with these tools already existing in the literature and the last table, we can, we can see from the board here that the ARL in our cases for, for every shift magnitude has a, it's much better than the one of the charts that were proposed before. So we can has succeeded in giving much better uh, result, uh, particularly 
for, for small shift magnitudes. So we reviewed recently search garden weak runs in binary trials. We introduced the defined weak runs in multi-state trials. We studied waiting time distributions. We introduced a study to hard time control charts with run rules. And we could compare the performance to several charts in the literature and proved its priority for detecting small to moderate seeds. For future research, we have two directions. First, uh, enrich the, th the theoretical tools, the weak runs tools, and apply them to different uh, applications. And also, as it comes to uh, statistical process monitoring, add warning limits and do non-parametric non tests as well, no parametric charts. These are the basic uh, references. These three, he three here is the one that we've introduced weak runs in binary trials. And look also six, which is the first work of weak runs in binary trials in statistical process monitoring. Some more references and thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Christina. Thank you very much, questions. Piros. Thank you very much for your presentation. Andre, can we give just one, two minutes for questions? Of course. Please okay, just, thank yeah. you very much. Are there any questions, comments, suggestions, or anything? Because I have two. <laughs> but I'll give the priority to Arat on this. Okay, I don't see something in the chat. Correct, Andre? Okay, yes. I don't have something. So, okay, uh, Spiros, uh, first of all, congratulations uh, for this very nice talk. Very interesting work. And through the examples presented, I think you highlighted how these theoretical results can be actually applied to various fields, not only agriculture that you mentioned, but finance or reliability, engineering, anything. If I understand uh, well, and correct me if I'm wrong, in this work, the you uh, the metric of distance that you published in Metrica that you mentioned is adapted from a sequence of binary trials to multi-state trials, correct? Uh, no, it's not the metric of distance that was adapted. The, yeah. the metric of distance, uh, it's, it's the same. Okay. Uh, what we have to consider is consider a, a, an alphabet with uh, different types of success. Type, type of distribution. Uh, okay. types of, uh, but the distance, the metric of distance remains the same. It the same. It's the same one as it's in the real number. Uh, okay. in the real numbers. So if, if I understand well, um, could we have, uh, could we divide um, this sequence also into blocks uh, based on the patterns that we are investigating? This is uh, the question that uh, come, came to my mind. Could we have a sequence and divide the sequence into blocks and probably uh, then see Of course, uh, considering some sequences, each of which will be a separate sequence. Okay, so handle it as separate uh, sequences and uh, probably then see how these, these would interact. This would be very valuable for, uh, and, 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 and for of practical course, applications. Yes, and of course. The genomics uh, or, you know. And of course, uh, RANS rules uh, RANS generally provide many tools and provide also different tools for counting RANS in different ways. For example, as you imply, I mean, understand, overlapping, non-overlapping, yeah. uh, yes, at least uh, yes. to, it's, it, it's uh, very, very interesting. And, uh, but uh, you should give me a 40 minutes uh, talk and I will explain <laughs> you yeah. in detail. But because I suppose then the combinatorial complexity will increase very much if uh, you start uh, studying uh, sequences, since each object, uh, if I understood correct, can appear multiple times. Imagine that you have a sequence of trials that also appear multiple times. Yes. Very interesting work. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, you very much. I, I see the, the hand of Andre. <laughs> Just shortly, um, we are on, to be on time, but uh, you mentioned non-parametric possibilities. It's a very general question, and I don't know the topic very well. Is there any specific method in non-parametric to apply in your case? Uh, there are several. There are several, actually. But uh, the idea, uh, okay, it has to do and which one will be uh, e easier practically implemented. So it's not a question that I can, I can uh, because it's that we're working on the moment and we're trying to get some uh, numerical result and see what, what we should apply and what we can apply as well. But uh, the, the, the idea is that we... we in the first step, when we introduce this, we always consider normal distribution. In the sequel, we go uh, and out, we, should, we should go also out, go out of this assumption, which is not necessarily true, and see what's going on. Okay. 